I'm getting rid of all these clothes. Yeah, they're going. Okay, I'm lying because these are clothes that I just got as a gift, so no, they're not going in the trash. <laughs> nice try though, MJ. Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary Jane, aka Keeping It MJ. And here I like to keep it 100, keep it real, keep it down to earth. Today's video, as you've seen in the title, is basically what it sounds like. No, I don't exactly mean throw your whole closet away, but you might have to throw away most of the stuff in your closet. However, even if it's all of it, I'm sure it's not. There has to be something in there that you love and that fits. Um, so these are the nicknames I've given these type of clothes that I think that you should definitely get rid of. The first one, number one, the adulthood clothes. These clothes have lasted from childhood, maybe even childbirth, I'm kidding, up till now. And I don't know why, but you still have them. Maybe, and I'll cut you some slack, maybe it's because you haven't gained any weight. Good for you. <laughs> um, and you're still able to fit certain clothes from like middle school or even high school till now. And that's cool and all, but... You are now a young adult, so some of these clothes might not really fit your style anymore. You might like it, and it does matter what you like, um, but, you know, try, try to let go of some of that and, and embrace, you know, the new you, the new age, <laughs> the new life. Number two, the spoiled rottens. These are clothes that you have worn to death over and over and over again. They have holes in them. They're torn, even though we live in a day and age where... Torn jeans and torn outfits are a thing in their fashion. Even though something that's hot in your closet, it is not. So unless you're doing it as a fashion trend, please throw these outfits away. Um, if it's really worn out, I don't advise you taking it to Salvation Army just because, you know, you want to be thoughtful of others and give people clothes that they can actually wear um, and, and feel comfortable wearing. So, yeah. Number three, the annual heart breakers <laughs> these are outfits that you keep holding off wearing you'll say i'll wear this next year or next week or next month or next year um but dude it's 2018 wear 2018 clothing for 2018 and don't hold off 2018 till 2019 does that make any sense i hope that makes sense basically what i'm saying is wear it now why are you holding off wearing an outfit you know, I actually used to do this. I would buy something, and I don't know if it's just me, but I would be scared to wear new clothes. Like, I don't want to wear it too fresh, because I feel like it's it's so brand new. It's like, let me wait and wear it later. And then before I realize, it's next year. And then a year after that, and maybe I don't even like it later. So wear it now. There are different reasons why people hold off on wearing clothes, but if you haven't worn it in a year, and you keep holding it off, just get rid of it. Number four, the love me knots. Guys, I know clothes don't have feelings, but it is so sad. <laughs> it is so sad when you don't give any love to some of your clothes. They're literally hanging on that hanger in front of you. You're saying, oh my goodness, I don't have any clothes to wear. What do I wear? What? What? It's, it's, it's hanging there. It's sitting there. It's chilling. It's like, wear me. Love me. And you're like, where the outfit's at? You know? <laughs> Honestly, show some love to the clothes that you love. If not, give it to someone else who will love it. Give it away. Give it to your cousin who admires your choice of clothing and who admires your old choice of clothing. Give it to somebody who will love it because it's everybody needs love. Even some of these clothes out there. Number five, the last kind of outfits that I definitely think you should get rid of are your exes. The broke up and moved on outfits um these outfits are just not your style anymore so why have them why keep them get rid of them you no longer just wear denim <laughs> you no longer just wear black stuff all the time maybe what you wore in the 90s just ain't cutting it out right now and you kept it till now you know 90s clothing is coming back though and i love it but there's some outfits it's just no just no so do not wear stuff that you're just not feeling you're not in love with anymore I think confidence is one of the key things about fashion it's like it makes you feel confident you can experiment but at the end of the day if you're not happy with what you're wearing if it's not your fashion or your style or you anymore just 
don't wear it trust me you will be so much happier later on knowing that your your fashion your your sense of style has improved I didn't used to give as much um, thought into my clothing and let's be real I'm not the most fashionable person out there but I love some of the outfits that I put together and I just love when I get compliments you know it's a confidence booster and you should feel again confident in what you're wearing so what it comes down to guys it is spring cleaning season it's time to get rid of some of these clothes and the three things that it comes down to is that your outfits fit you wear them often and that they express who you are or who you're becoming that means being confident and comfortable in what you're wearing guys it's important that we just do not invite clutter into our lives um, you don't want to be on the next episode of hoarders I don't even know if that show still airs but you don't and I just cleaned my room recently I feel so good I got rid of some clothes I put them in bags gotta get ship them off somewhere but honestly it it's for me anyway being a Christian it's definitely the Christian way to like not live in a mess and clutter so if that's not your way if you're not thinking about it Christian like or whatever but you're thinking about just being free of all the clutter then by all means free yourself from the clutter thank you guys so much for watching this video if you have any other nicknames for outfits that you should get rid of please I want to see that in the comment section below um, like I mentioned last time, I have my Instagram link um, that I will provide to you guys in the uh, description box below. And hopefully maybe I might include my Snapchat <laughs> social media later and that will also be inside the description box below. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Keep the love, keep it positive, and as always, I'll be keeping it MJ. Bye! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, no. <laughs> Come on, every everybody leave. <laughs> you don't want to be on the next episode. <laughs> I can't. Uh